Every year on the first Monday of May, the Met Gala attracts a lot of attention and celebrity attendance. But as I mentioned in last video, the bona fide high society nobles and major backers behind the Met Museum don't even bother to attend this fashion show, with the exception of Wendy Murdoch. Although still a minority, there are a dozen Chinese donors of the Met Museum, ultra wealthy business people, investors, art collectors, and philanthropists who actually contribute large sums of money and precious artworks to the museum. Some of them are very low profile, and it's hard to find much public information about them. But this video is based on comprehensive research, including from sources not available in the US. So keep watching and don't forget to subscribe. Wendy Murdoch is a longtime donor and contributor with the Met Museum. Since I've discussed her quite a bit in the last video about Met Gala, I won't go into much detail here. But just remember this. While it's true that she got most of her wealth, aka the money, to donate to the Met from her previous marriage with ex Rupert Murdoch, personally, she has built an A class high society network, an impressive philanthropic resume herself to leave her own mark in the world of arts, especially in advancing creative works from Chinese artists. At only 33 years old, Wendy Yu is one of the biggest donors to the Met, who also endowed the position of the museum's curator in charge of the Costume Institute, due to her massive costume collection. Where does her money come from? Well, to start with, it's daddy's money, as she is the heiress of Asia's largest manufacturer of wooden doors. Born in China, she received elite education in Britain, studied fashion management, and went on to be one of the very few Chinese girls who attended the International Debutante Ball in New York and the Queen Charlotte's Ball in London. She obviously has the family wealth to acquire the massive high-end fashion collection she has. In fact, Vogue has named her one of the world's most important couture clients alongside Queen Reina of Jordan and Grace Kelly. But Wendy Yu has also struck out her own path with her own investment holding company, with stakes in Chinese companies worth tens of billions of dollars. She also supports a range of other art museums and philanthropic activities, including the iconic Victoria and Albert Museum in the UK. The other heiress donor to the Met Museum, although much less high profile, but born to much bigger wealth, is Jade Law, daughter of Joseph Law, the real estate tycoon and art collector himself, who is number 133 on Forbes' world billionaire list and number 8 on Hong Kong's 50 richest list, with an estimated net worth of $13 billion. Her family, thanks to her womanizer playboy dad, is fraught with scandals and rumors. According to tabloids, 71-year-old Joseph Law, due to health issues, had transferred most of his wealth to his current and third wife, Kim B. Chan, who is the same age as Jade Law. It doesn't look like there's much left aside for Jade, as his dad has to divide his enormous estates with six children born from three separate marriages and relationships. But none of this bitter inheritance battle seems to bother Jade, who was educated at Switzerland's prestigious boarding school Institute La Rose and earned a master's degree in psychology from the New School for Social Research in New York. When Jay's mother, the late Teresa Paul, who was also Joseph Law's first wife, passed away 20 years ago, she left about one billion to Jade and her brother. As one of Chanel's top five global VIPs, Teresa Paul introduced Jade to the world of high-end couture, art, and fashion, and something that Jade continues to present day with her ongoing contributions and donations to the Met Museum. Angela Chow, youngest daughter of the famous Chow family, is the CEO of Foremost Group, a major American shipping company founded by her late father in 1964 that does the majority of its businesses in US-Asia logistics. 
Her elder sister is Elaine Chao, former Secretary of Transportation under the Trump administration and Secretary of Labor under the Bush administration, also wife of Senator Mitch McConnell. She is married to billionaire Jim Breyer, a well-known venture capitalist and investor in companies such as Facebook, Etsy, and Spotify. She's also one of the most active and earliest American investors in Chinese technology companies such as Tencent and ByteDance TikTok. Obviously, as a couple, Angela and Jim are joint donors of the Met Museum, who are also part of the Chairman's Council. A little side note. Before Jim, Angela had unfortunately a very short marriage to another billionaire slash investment banker, Bruce Weisserstein, who died in the same year in 2009 when he married Angela due to heart condition. I'm glad that Angela had moved on with her life after unexpectedly being turned into a widow, because similar to all super rich family stories like those of Joseph Law discussed earlier. When her ex-husband Wazerstein passed away, he left behind a giant mess in his inheritance dispute among children from ex-wives and those from a mistress, as well as frozen embryos. Now back to business. Like other donors mentioned here, Angela Chow's philanthropic activities extend well beyond the Met Museum. She also serves on the board of the Metropolitan Opera, the Museum of Contemporary Art in Los Angeles, and through her company's Foremost Foundation. Oscar Tang and wife Agnes Xu Tang made headlines in 2021 for pledging, hold your breath, a whopping 125 million to the Met Museum. As the first Chinese American trustee of the museum for more than 20 years, and the leading patron of its Chinese art collection, Oscar Tan had donated prior to this 17 million in 1997, and then another 15 million in 2015 to the Met Museum. Oh, by the way, it doesn't look like it, but he is 85 years old, 34 years senior to his third wife Agnes. So where does Oscar's massive fortune come from? Well, it's a combination of generational wealth, his own achievement, and maybe a little bit of inheritance from a prior marriage. Oscar's family is the very definition of old money Chinese. His maternal grandmother was the aunt of Su Mei Ling, the first lady of the Republic of China. His father came from a textile tycoon family in the Qing Dynasty, China, who went on to become a very successful businessman himself and a politician in Hong Kong. The list goes on, but you get the idea. Oscar's first wife, Frances Young, also came from a noble Chinese family, whose stepfather was the famous statesman Wellington Ku during the Republic of China, and her mother was also a diplomat. Slash socialite, well connected in the high society circle. A gallery at the Met Museum was named after Francis, who passed away in 1992 due to cancer. Oscar himself has had a very successful career in business and finance, and according to Wikipedia, has donated hundreds of millions of dollars in philanthropic activities thus far throughout his lifetime. Including many centers and galleries dedicated to East Asian studies and arts at renowned institutions. Like Oscar Tan, Lulu C. Wan, along with her husband Anthony Wan, is one of the longest-standing Chinese contributors and board of trustees at the Met Museum. Long before the current conversations about gender equality and Asian representation, Lulu was already killing it on Wall Street. In the 1980s and 90s, as a successful money manager, who then founded her own investment group, Tupelo. In addition to the Met, Lulu also sits on the board of the Met Life Insurance Company, Rockefeller University, and Columbia Business School, where she earned her MBA. She also made a notable 25 million donation to her alma mater, Wellesley College, and is a founding member of the Committee 100. An influential organization fostering constructive dialogue between Chinese and American leaders. 
In her spare time, Lulu and her husband collect American art as well as vintage sports cars. Ming Chu Xu and Daniel Xu, both of whom are Lulu C. Wan's fellow board members of Columbia Business School, are also donors with the Met Museum. Ming Chu Xu has a massive real estate investment network throughout Asia, Europe, and the United States. For example, via her company Reformosa, one of Portugal's leading developers of mixed-use real estate developments, Ming Chu is the investor behind the hotel Gascais Curie Collection by Hilton. Daniel Xu, on the other hand, is one of the co-founders and chief information officer of Tencent, the Chinese technology giant with a market cap of more than four hundred billion dollars. Ming Chu and Daniel are a dynamic duo, actively involved with the Met, having sponsored a curatorship in the field of East Asian art in 2018 with the museum. The other Chinese donors of the Met include Zach Duchao, general manager of a big consulting and accounting company based in Beijing, who is one of the most accomplished and youngest philanthropists in China. With contributions spanning across child welfare, global health, and arts and culture exchange, he is very actively involved with UNICEF and was named a member of the Chairman's Council of the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Wellington Chen, Executive Director of the Chinatown Partnership Local Development Corporation. Is also a longtime donor and board of trustee with the Met Museum, and a very highly respected public servant known for his contributions to the Chinese American community in Flushing and Queens, New York. Lastly, Yan Huo and Xue Fan, who are both trustees with the Princeton University, where the couple received their PhDs. Are among the president's circle with the Met Museum, a designation for the highest level of individual donation. Both Yan Huo, a former J.P. Morgan executive and now managing partner of Capula Investment, and his wife Xue Fan, a biomedical researcher and neuroscientist, were both educated in China before moving to the United States in the late 1980s. The couple has their own Huo Family Foundation, which has collectively pledged more than 15 million across the U.S., U.K., and China in the areas of education, public policy, the arts, and COVID-19 research.